Fujian-born individuals previously convicted in Singapore's three billion Singapore dollars money laundering case, Zhang Ruijin and Lin Baoying, have been named among 14 people charged with human trafficking in the Philippines. The charges were filed by the Department of Justice on 17 September, involving a major scam operation in Talak Province. Zhang and Lin along with former Bamban mayor Alice Guo, are accused of forcing hundreds of people from various nationalities into working for a scam centre located in Bamban, Talak. The site was raided in March 2024, leading to the discovery of 432 Chinese nationals, 371 Filipinos and other individuals from Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan, Indonesia and Rwanda. Guo, who was stripped of her mayorship in August, was arrested in Indonesia in September, following her escape from the Philippines in July, during an investigation into her alleged involvement in Chinese criminal syndicates. The scam operation was run on land owned by Baofu Land Development, a company founded in 2019 by Guo, Zhang, Lin, Cypriot national Wang Jiang, and Philippine national Rachel Joan Malonzo Carayon. All five individuals are among those facing charges of qualified human trafficking, a non-bailable offence which typically carries a penalty of life imprisonment. Qualified trafficking, as defined under Philippine law, involves cases where syndicates, slavery or forced labour are present. Zhang and Lin were sentenced to 15 months in prison in Singapore after pleading guilty to money laundering and forgery charges. They were deported to Cambodia in June after completing their sentences. Guo, who had evaded Philippine authorities by hiding in Singapore for a month, was extradited back to the Philippines on 9 September and is now facing additional charges, including graft-related offences, tax fraud and laundering criminal proceeds amounting to 100 million pesos. Guo, whose birth name is allegedly Guo Huaping, is also under investigation for fabricating her nationality to qualify for public office, a role restricted to Philippine citizens. She is accused of falsifying her birth records to conceal her Chinese nationality. The case has drawn further attention due to the involvement of Wang Jiang, reported to be the head of illegal Philippine offshore gaming operators which have been linked to human trafficking and scam operations. Pogos, while licensed by the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, have been criticised for exploiting workers and being a front for criminal activities. In 2022, Pogos contributed 53.1 billion pesos to the Philippine economy, but lawmakers continue to express concerns about their operations. Zhang and Line's current whereabouts remain unclear following their deportation. Cambodian authorities reported Zhang was deported again on 16 July, but the destination country was not disclosed.